Welcome to First Aid 101, and today we're talking first aid. I'm going to try to get this done in the next five, six minutes. So let's get started. First thing you want to start off with is you want to make sure that you have some rubber gloves. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of this stuff is in these little pouches. These pouches are waterproof, so I put all my first aid gear into those because the bag is not waterproof. Next thing, you want TP for your bone hole. Sorry about that. It's just a force of nature for me to do that um, and some tissues so this way here if you know you never know nature calls but you could also use this for other different things too uh, moving on right along here in this pouch right here you have your standard ibuprofen Tylenol uh, um, oh Benadryl and that kind of stuff is in here in case somebody gets bit or has a headache or you know whatever uh, some way to start a fire in this pouch here is matches and make sure that you have some matches you may have to start a fire to keep warm or you may have to start a fire to sterilize water or to sterilize something to make sure that you can do what you have to do and do it in an efficient manner um, a mask you want to make sure you got a mask you don't know if it could be smoky dusty or anything like that so you want to have a mask with you you want to have some way that you can lay down people just on the chance that you need help and you know so you want these glow sticks you can break these suckers right open and hopefully people can see them <clears throat> and this little pouch here is a emergency shelter and some hand warmers so there's four hand warmers in there so you could have some you can put them down in your boots or your shoes or something to help try to keep you warm in the front pouch up here this little pouch here is your standard boo-boo kit this is like what you would get when you would if you just bought a kit from say Walmart and stuff you get these type of bandages you know for the little splinter that makes you cry <clears throat> and this little pouch over here is all your types of your antiseptic wipes um, and your burn creams and I do have iodine in here anti antibiotic ointment um, and that kind of stuff cotton swabs you get the picture this way you get cut you put some stuff on it clean it and hopefully you're good some package of wet wipes. Make sure you got some wet wipes that way if you got to clean stuff up or whatever and you know it just comes in handy, a nice little pack. This is one of those, you know, you just squeeze it real hard and you crush it and you got a nice ice pack ready to go. You never know when you're gonna need one. A bar of soap. Now I also have metal tweezers. When you buy some of these first aid kits they come with all this plastic crap, just throw it away and go buy yourself some good stuff. Um, so I got metal tweezers. I have a small multi-tool with a flashlight. So if I need to see, I have a pair of surgical scissors and a small knife. And that all goes into the pack. I also carry a small sewing kit. Never know what you may need it for. You may have to actually sew somebody up. You don't know. Um, one large uh, freezer bag empty never know what you may need it for there's a million and one uses for that right there something a lot of people don't think about um, is a snake bite kit now I have this snake bite kit here I do I have this razor that goes with the snake bite there is one in here it's real flimsy um, so I just carry a, a, a decent razor with me you pick it up at the dollar store um, but the snake bite kit comes in handy you would have to take and shave somebody's um, like if they have a lot of hair on their arm or wherever they got bit their leg or something like that so that the snake bite kit can go right over it so when you pull in the suction it gets really good moving on we have gauze now you can use gauze if somebody's bad mouth in you or something like that and you can wrap them right up and just uh, no wait wrong sorry so you can use a gauze if you have to if somebody gets really hurt or something you can take and you know, I have it in rolls, and then I also have it in just the, the patches itself, and the, there's different size patches for different types of wounds. Hopefully it's not that bad. And this little pouch here is iodine sticks. Now, all you have to do with those is you tear them open and you pull out the stick. It's already in the solution. It's just a cotton ball on a stick, and uh, you can put that on your wound so to keep the infection and stuff away. 
Now, if somebody gets hurt really bad, you want to move on to this stuff right here. This is called Bleed Stop. It is uh, FDA approved. Um, so what you would do is you tear this pack open, you would pour it onto the wound and apply pressure and hopefully it will stop the bleeding depending on how bad the wound is. Now if that doesn't work, you can always fall back to the good old tourniquet. You throw that on, tighten it down, people aren't going to like you because they're going to think you're like killing them, but in real life you're trying to save their lives, so you're trying to stop the bleeding, might hurt a little bit. So these here are just absorption pads, I just throw these in here. Um, this way here, if something happens, you got to work on somebody or, you know, somebody gets hurt and so laying on the ground, the dirt or whatever else, you can put them on this and uh, help keep any type of uh, bacterial or anything else that could be around, you know, to try to keep it as sanitary as possible. Now we're going to move right over here and in here is tape and these uh, elastic bandages. Now I love these elastic bandages, they come in handy for a lot of things from if you did have a small wound and you had to put some gauze on it, you could wrap it up with these. But I have multi of these, there's uh, six in here, five, excuse me, five. And I have those in case you're out in the woods, you're hiking or something like that and somebody's walking along, they trip, they fall because they're a klutz and they don't know what they're doing and can't watch where they're going and now you're the one that's responsible for mending them up, meaning that you have to make a splint or something of that nature to get them, um, you know, kind of like stationary and, you know, so they can't move the broken bone and then you get to carry them out of the woods. So, that's First Aid 101. My name is Charles. Oh, I almost forgot. The most important thing, you want a water bottle and you want some way to purify it. So these are purify water tablets because you just never know. You may run into a situation where you need to get water and you need to purify it to clean wounds or, or so on and so forth. And I almost forgot the most important, the, the holy grail of the whole operation, hand sanitizer. Go figure. Till next time. And if you're looking for more information about any type of a hurricane type situation, I'll leave you a little link right up here and check out those videos. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.